Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We're all short today. I know. I apologize. The audio is not that great in this video, particularly here in the beginning. Um, but, you know, I shot this great video. We had some great footage, and I wanted to use it. And I also ran it by a uh, preview by our Patreons on patreon.com forward slash those is offshore. And, uh, you know, they said it wasn't that bad. So bear with me. I got a new microphone. Uh, I had to adjust the settings. I didn't get it right. You know, I'm not an expert. And, uh, but hopefully you'll enjoy this video uh, and, uh, and the audio quality. So uh, Thanks I for watching. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We apologize, and let's get right back to it. Hope you guys didn't miss me too much. You haven't seen me since I got a traffic ticket, I think, in Louisiana. But today we're offshore. There's a lot of mahi around, and we're trying to uh, we're trying to catch them. It's a beautiful day. Uh, I just want to start off. This video today is brought to you by one of our great sponsors, Elton Porter Insurance, uh, a division of Inns Group. They're a great uh, marine insurance company. Uh, I'll get the links in the description. And uh, so thank you very much, guys. It's one of our great sponsors. Please, uh, if you get insurance, just check them out. No big deal. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Anyway. So we came out here, we're running and gunning, we're looking for fish. All right, we're not gonna put our lines in until we find some fish. And Darcy found this great, Darcy found this great barrel. It's been found it. <laughs> so I got, I got Sam and Frank here. What do you got to say, Frank? I got nothing to say right now. He's quiet, I got him chucking, all right? I'm giving Frank the credit for finding it, but we found something epic. So, well, it's not epic until we got fish on it. But, so we got this nice barrel. Uh, and it's been sitting out here. This is what you want to look for, flotsam, stuff floating. It sits out there for a long time. It collects bait on it. And, uh, and then the mahi look for the bait. All right, so we're gonna, we stopped here. We're not gonna troll around it. We're gonna stop and we're gonna chunk. Frank's cutting up some chunks over here. He's gonna cut up these sardines and just put one out every five or 10 seconds. Hopefully draw the mahi up. And uh, let's see how this goes. All right, so um, we're starting to chunk, Frank is, and I've got a few little baby baits here that I've been catching and basically when you find a flotsam and you find, where did my bait thing go? I don't even know. Here it comes. Um, when you find flotsam, usually there's bait on it and a lot of the times a good tip for you is you want to catch that bait that's underneath it because that's what the pelagics and fish are eating out here in the deep ocean. So a lot of the times, like even though I have little baby baits here, um, you know, that's what I found and that's what's out here currently. So I may use them in the future when I find some dolphin or wahoo. Other things you can do when you see some flotsam like this that you're drifting with is, is you also jig, you know, jig real deep and bring the dolphin up that way. So there's a lot of different little techniques uh, that we're going to try here. We doing, Frank? I'm going swimming. Let's see it. All right, so Frank's taking a little dip. But let me tell you about actual fishing because. We all play games around here like Frank does. <laughs> but anyway, you also got to know when to cut your losses. So that we, didn't, we didn't see any mahi. Um, if you don't see any mahi, you know, there's probably no mahi around. So we came out a little deeper, about 1,400 feet out here. It's beautiful, uh, hot as heck. Um, so we're still looking. We saw a little temperature break here and some flyers. So we just stopped the boat and look around. There's no, no harm in doing that. For you ladies asking about Frank, this is Frank, he's single. He is jobless, but he's looking and working on that. He's independently wealthy anyway. He doesn't even need a job. Are you done making fun of me, B? I am not done making fun of you. I am catching something cool. Not. <laughs> I'm just cleaning up the ocean because I respect the ocean. And uh, there's a lot of balloons out here. So cleaning up the trash. Frank is currently chunking, and Frank once again found this piece of flopsam we found on the surface with a little bit of bait and a small triple tail that I can't keep, it's not legal. But uh, we just came to check it out, found a little dolphin right by the boat, sorry. And so now I just hooked him, I caught him on a chunk of dead sardine. Frank is still chunking, we're going to see if we can get some more dolphin to the boat, but general little thumb, when you catch a mahi, dolphin, whatever you want to call it, you hook one and you keep them in the water for a little bit, because so, a lot of the times they school and they like to stay together, so if there's other dolphin in this immediate area, they'll usually come to the one that's hooked by your boat and then you can catch more, um, but he seems like to be like a lone dolphin for right now, he's a keeper though, dinner. Woohoo! Woo All right, I know it's I know it's a little silly netting out with a dolphin, but it's our first fish of the day. I didn't want to lose them. Yeah, we haven't been on our boat in a while, and uh, we might be a little bit uh, 
lacking on our skills because we haven't used them in like a month on our boat. No, but we got our fish. We're going to catch some more. Yeah, we'll just sling the fifth one over the side, but we're going to yeah. keep that one. But we are going to move on. It was just the one lonely dolphin, which is really strange. And he's like, you know, he's a schooly size. He should be with other dolphins. We're going to troll right here. So, we'll see what happens. Yep. Now, you see this little teeny thing? That's what we just caught a dolphin on. So, you know, you got to stop and check even little things like that. We are in about 1,500 feet of water currently, and we just started to stop trolling, honestly, at the moment. Um, it's been pretty slow out here. There's a ton of life, though, a lot of flyers, a lot of action, sea turtles. It's really cool, um, but just not a whole lot of fish biting. So it's so hot out here today. Literally, it's like baking. I think the UV index is super high as well. And so we're going to take advantage of our gorgeous swimming pool out here today. It's flat, calm, absolutely awesome. And we're going to dive into our swimming pool 1500 feet of water and cool down and then we're going to get back to fishing that doesn't sound like a terrible idea to me what do you think Sally Frank you got nothing to say <laughs> yeah let's dive in real quick what the heck let me see Frank <laughs> go get my camera wet <laughs> I get you? nope are there any big monsters out there Frank just me <laughs> That's little. I said, I said big monsters. He looks like a pretty monkey in the water. <laughs> Time to take a dip. Okay. Okay, so after our little dive in our deep swimming pool, which was absolutely amazing by the way, gorgeous water and uh, it was quite the refresher. So we just started trolling back in and now we are kind of trolling our way back home. Uh, we had a long day of offshore fishing, looking for dolphin, got that one, but it's been slow since then. So we just hooked a fish. And this is on my shotgun line. And what I mean by shotgun, my farthest line out it's a couple hundred yards back, and with a shotgun line, I like to send it back far and then lock it up, and then if you think it's far enough, send it back farther. So it is way the heck back there, and it's a daisy chain from Ballyhood Lures. So we're going to find out what it is here in a minute, but I've got to reel in a lot of line first. All right, I've got the fish by the boat. We have got a bonita. Sweet. All right. So, can't really eat these guys. Actually, I did eat them in one of my recent videos, if you saw that. They're actually okay to eat, but we're not gonna keep this guy. We, we usually keep them for like shark bait um, and use it for chunking, but uh, we've got plenty of bonita, honestly, so there's no reason for us to keep this guy. Gonna go ahead and release them, but beautiful fish. I always love catching these guys just because they're so beautiful, and they put up one heck of a fight. Look at those colors. We're gonna release them, going back home. Tunas are part, fish that are part of the tuna family, always gotta be moving, head first. There he goes. All right, we had an epic day of fishing, absolutely gorgeous day out here. This is perfect summertime conditions here in South Florida, but we just didn't really find a lot of mahi. But we did get some dinner, so that's a plus. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching my videos, we really appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And until my next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching.